Uh, well, first of all, we, we spoke just not long after you joined the uh, the football club. How have things gone for you since and how do you feel pre-season's gone? Yeah, it's been really good. I feel like i um, settled in well. Uh, the lads have been great. Um, the gaffer has been great. All the training sessions have been good. It's been a good tempo. Got the uh, the games done and dusted. Um, so, yeah, now on to the, the competitive stuff. So, looking forward to it. Watch a couple of the pre-season games. You can see the, the type of work you're doing in training with the manager. It's, it's pretty clear, isn't it? The, the type of approach play you're doing. Yeah, definitely. It's um, The sessions that we're doing, they're really detailed. Um, the gaffer's getting across what he wants us to do and how he wants us to play. Um, and like you say, you can see that coming to fruition in the, um, in the pre-season games. So hopefully take that into the, uh, the game tomorrow as well. And with the, some new signings to come, there's a, lot, a big turnover of players coming. You're part of that. Is it, has it been quite easy to settle in with the other teammates and into the city as well? Yeah, as because we're all in the same boat, we're all kind of um, get on with each other well because there was no, no one really knew each other beforehand, so everyone's had to get along. Um, but I feel like we've gelled together um, well as a team. Obviously, that'll just get stronger the more we play together and the more we train together. And settled into the city, have you been recognised yet? <laughs> um, a little bit, but not not nothing too too crazy. But the city the city's nice. Um, the girlfriend's happy, so that's another um, tick in the box. Yeah, you said that was one of the things you were talking about when you spoke to me earlier in the in the summer. Um, so there you are. You're um, waiting for the Carabao or the League Cup draw, yeah. and then it comes out. You must have had a wry smile. I know. Right now. <laughs> As soon as the crew get uh, the crew name got announced, I just knew it was going to be us that were playing. It was just typical, but uh, that'd be a it'd be a good one going back going back to crew. Have you had a bit of banter off your former teammates? <laughs> yeah, I spoke to a couple of them. Um, so yeah, it'd be a, be interesting seeing seeing tomorrow. And has Michael been the manager been picking your brains a little bit? And obviously he'll have watched them himself, but you'll have yeah. a bit of an inside track on things. Yeah, we've uh, we spoke a bit yesterday, and uh, you know he's saying what. They've, they've picked up and asking me a few bits as well. And But you know, we've, I think between the two of us, we'll have it um, pretty boxed off, hopefully. A bit, a bit weird for you as well, because, I mean, we've talked about this a lot, but you're going to be at a ground that you've, you know very well. You might have got a bit of good nature stick, but also a welcome back as part of a, you know, the team that did what it did last year. And yet there's no fans there. I know, yeah, it will be uh, very strange, but... I think it's just going to be one of them. We're going to have to get used to it because that could be the new normal for a while, hopefully not too long. But um, yeah, it will be strange. And what would you say are the strengths of, of crew as a team? Um, they're obviously a good footballing team um, and they've come off success last season. So they'll be, their confidence will be high. And um, you know, they, like, they like playing at home and they've had a good record at home. So yeah, um, Without the fans there, that could be a good, um, well, not leveller, but that will be that might affect them more than it will affect us because they've had a good home form last season. And finally, for me, that the manager said that you know these games are important, but actually the real season starts next week with the league. It's a it's a bit of a balance, isn't it, for you as players? I, I guess you just have to treat it as a it is a huge it's, it's a big it's a big game. Uh, I suppose you can't really treat it as a you know, well, the manager's saying it's proper season next season. You have to take it as a full-on game. Yeah, definitely. And especially for me, because obviously I don't want to go back to my own club and lose. I want to, <laughs> I want to go there and win. I can't let my mates have that one in the rugby. But, um, yeah, we've, we've all got to take it seriously. And I think everyone will approach it properly. Every game that we go into, we want to go into to win. So um, the crew game will be no different. Um, yeah, so you're one of a, a number of players who sort of joined the Imps with a promotion on, on the CV, I mean, albeit the, the way that it ended. But, I mean, you, you must be full of confidence coming into, you know, a side in, in League Two that wants to kick on. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, it's, um, it's just giving me a taste of it, um, what, it, what it feels like to be, like say, even in strange circumstances. But um, just want that feeling again. And I think... Um, with the players we've got here, we could um, could surprise a few people this season and um, get a bit of a run of form going. And, you know, it's nothing to say that we couldn't have that that feeling again. Yeah, I think if you just look back at last season, obviously see the, the remarkable achievements of Wickham. Has, has the manager sort of said that, you know, look, at anything's possible as, as long as you sort of stick together, that sort of attitude? 
Um, not in those words, but yeah, kind of. That's that's just the sort of gist of what he's saying. You know, if we if we get um, if we play the way that we can, the quality we know the quality is there in the dressing room. And if we, um, you know, we've had conversations about what our targets are for the season. So I think we're all on the same page and we're all fighting for the same cause. So we all we all know what we've got to do. What's it been like? What was it like for you as a player when back in March the season was brought to a, an abrupt halt? And what's it been yeah. like? No game for six months. <laughs> yeah, it's been really strange. Um, when it first happened, um, I don't think any of us thought it would be this long a layoff. Um, well, I didn't anyway. Um, so it just it was hard mentally more than anything, just having to keep myself going, especially the uncertainty around it at the start, whether we were going to be coming back or not coming back. Um, and that sort of dragged on for a long time. But we just had to, you know, keep ourselves ticking over and be professional and do the right thing. So when the season does start, which is you know, which it has now, um, that we're all ready to ready to go. I'm sure you're a model pro, but uh, how much of a test of your professionalism have the last six months been? <laughs> yeah, it has been a test. It's easy to be uh, a good pro when there's games coming up and you know that this is like your target and this is when you know you're going to be playing next and what have you. But the not knowing element of it, it does test your professionalism and that's why you have to be um, you know, motivated and know what you you want to achieve ultimately. So uh, there could be a few that get caught out with that, but hopefully um, I don't fall into that category. And can I get some broader thoughts from you on, on the, the future um, re regarding obviously COVID-19 still being a huge story. Um, what are your hopes and what are your fears for, for the future now? Um, we'll just hopefully get football just gets back to normal as soon as possible. Um, you know, there's talk of having fans in, in the stadium of October time and then hopefully get that, those numbers increased as soon as possible and the, the COVID rates in Lincoln have been quite low I believe so hopefully that should accelerate getting the fans in as soon as possible um, and obviously worst fear is there's, <clears throat> there's, <clears throat> there's a second spike and then you know football gets gets the hit again but hopefully that, that won't be the case and we can get back to normal as soon as possible. Hi oh, James, you're potentially just one win away from playing Premier League opposition. How exciting are the prospects? Is that for you? Yeah, definitely. That is a that's always the thing with the cups. You know, you you get the chance to maybe play some of the the big boys. So, and um, that's obviously what we're all looking forward to. It might not be the same with um, no fans in the stadium, but um, it still be a good chance to test ourselves. But first, we've got to um, focus on the game against Crew and make sure that we're in that round. Um, next well, after tomorrow I believe that your timing crew you've never made a pass the second round so how, how far do you think we can go with Lincoln well as far as we are willing to make sure that we win I don't like um, obviously Lincoln's had a lot of cup um, success in the past they've had some quite deep cup runs uh, I knew that coming here so hopefully that's be something that we can um, replicate this season as well